Kenny Griffin with another Monday Mojo. God gets you to the plate, but once you're there, you're on your own. Ted Williams, 1918 to 2002, former member of the Boston Red Sox and last major league player to bat over 400. Well, have you ever been involved in a group discussion and found yourself standing at the back of the group just listening? Your mind swirling with thoughts and reactions, chomping at the bit to speak up, but something just seems to be keeping you back. Well, maybe it's the personality of all the people in the group, or maybe even the group leaders that intimidate you. They seem so opinionated, even so well-spoken or in command of their thoughts. You know that you have something to add, but you just feel paralyzed and you can't speak up. Well, what if you did speak up and sounded stupid? What if your question was just so basic that the whole group would have a collective laugh at your expense? Maybe it's just easier to sit back and take what you've heard and go try to figure it all out on your own. After all, that way you could spare yourself the embarrassment of sounding silly. You begin to fall into a pattern of behavior of just becoming a passive participant in all aspects of your life. Maybe you even begin to resent those that push themselves to the front of the pack. What's even worse is that you start to resent those that you once enjoyed. You blame them for keeping you back. You see them as the tripping point in your success. Now, with your thoughts all bottled up more than ever, your grudge builds and you begin to look for a new home, a new group where you can finally get everything you want and need to succeed. This time, you're going to handpick the situation and all will be right. So you blow up the current situation and you move on, truly empowered this time. But hold on for a second. What has really changed? Sure, maybe the grass is now different, but is it better? More importantly, are you any different? Are you any better? First of all, most of everything that you have built is now left behind. Sure, I understand that much of what you have you can bring with you, but in any new situation, it's like starting from scratch. I mean, literally point zero. Of course, change can be good for the soul, but only if the soul is truly understood to begin with. So, let's consider that most of us never sit still enough to figure out what we really even want. Is it more money? More freedom? More happiness? How do we get it? Where do we find it? Why not just keep running around till we get it? Well, I'll tell you why. Because it never happens that way. You think I'm wrong? then start studying the people that you really think have what you want. How'd they get it? Did they run around like headless chickens until they got it? Of course not. The first thing they did was take a full personal inventory and figure out who they really were. They took an accurate viewpoint of their own strengths and weaknesses, their own yin and yang. Then they matched their skills up with people and situations that brought out their best. No, not some smooth little sailing trip either. Rather, a journey filled with challenges and tripping points. Falling forward and filling, failing themselves to success. However, the most important characteristic of successful people is that they eventually emerge from the back of the pack and demand a better life. After all, if we want better, we must step up. Hey, this is Danny Griffin with another free thinking tool brought to you by freethinkingtools.com reminding you to think and thrive. Remember, step up and we'll see you next time.